Chinese medicine, we say that our emotional states are a reflection of the internal state of our organs. But our emotions immediately affect the internal state of our organs as well. So yes, when we're a child, if we have some traumatic injury, or sorry, some traumatic emotional experience, that can affect a certain organ. And then over time, that organ gets depleted. However, somebody who depletes an organ too much, let's say someone who smokes too much cigarettes throughout their life and they're depleting their lung because they're drying it out, they could then get prone to emotional issues of the lung. So both of those can happen either way. Yeah, really interesting. But it's also really good compassion-wise to realize that you know someone may behave a certain way, but it's not because they want to be, it's because their internal organs are out of balance. It's amazing when you can treat that internal organ balance to affect their emotions. Really beautiful stuff. In Chinese medicine, we have the big spirit. The big Shen, S-H-E-N, with a capital S. That is our overall spirit. But then we also break it down into five smaller spirits that all have different functions. They're all interrelated. We have the Po, which is the corporeal soul, the soul of the body. It's all about our human experience in our bodies, the human emotion. And particularly, it's related to the lungs, having to do with sadness and grief. What do we do when we're sad? Cry. We cry. We hunch forward, right? People who are sad tend to be forward. They don't stand up right. Tend to sit in their chair like this, they tend to walk. It's like Charlie Brown, right? Okay, they get really sad. What happens? Our lungs are collapsing forward. You're constricting how big and open your lungs can be. So then immediately when we're sad, we're affecting our lungs. Guess what? We're depleting our chi as well. So remember, the lung is in charge of bringing air in. We need that oxygen to create chi. The E, or the intellect. By the way, let me just say this as a caveat. My pronunciation of Chinese terms is not very good. <laughs> but I do the best I can. I'm pretty close, but someone who's a native Mandarin speaker would be like, ah. <laughs> but yes. So the E is our intellect. It is stored in the pancreas. The thinking behind this is that our digestive system is supplying chi for our ability to, to um, intellectually understand what it is that you are hearing or seeing or learning. It's the way we process the world. I will jump ahead really quick just to make a, a little differentiation. This Shen, which is, should be lowercase, is consciousness. Our consciousness is what allows us to be present in the moment. The E, or the intellect, is what allows us to digest what we're seeing and what our consciousness, or our Shen, is allowing us to pay attention to. Is that distinction clear? Can you repeat it? Yeah. So the E is the intellect, which, um, which digests the information that is coming into our system. The Shen, or consciousness, is what allows us to be present for that information. So your consciousness has you here paying attention to what I'm saying, but your intellect is what's taking in what I'm saying and digesting it into a way that you can understand. And this is the same Shen that's the overall spirit? So this is the little Shen. Okay, this is not the overall spirit. Yeah, the big Shen encompasses all of this. Okay, 
So the E is related to the pancreas, like I explained, and its emotion is pensiveness. And what we mean by that is overthinking. The more we think, the more we rely on our E, or our intellect, and the more our pancreas gets depleted. We need the pancreas's chi in order to support it. So just to say it again, the E or the intellect <coughs> depends on chi to function. This is why we're, when we're tired, we have a harder time comprehending things or understanding or paying attention to them. Sorry, not paying attention. Paying attention comes into the shadow. Any questions about either of the first two? Okay. The hun, or the ethereal soul. It is said that the hun travels with us from life to life. When we reincarnate, which Taoism believes, and ancient Chinese medicine, Chinese medicine that comes before the communist revolution, <laughs> we believe in reincarnation. The Hun is what carries that wisdom into our next lives. It carries all those life lessons. It carries our karma that which we still need to learn, which we still need to process. The hun is related to the liver. Not sure why the liver, like as in terms of a good explanation, but it's the liver. At nighttime when we dream, said that the hun leaves our body and goes out and gains images. Anybody know or heard of someone who has precognitive dreams? Where they dream about what's going to happen? I just met somebody the other day who said that she almost every night has precognitive dreams of what's going to come. Whether you choose to believe that or not, to you. Um, Anything's possible. That's my belief. Anything's possible. <laughs> um, so the hun goes out and it gains images for us so that we can prepare and we can learn. It's not bound by time, but it's in this time in our bodies. That's our hun, which resides in our liver. Any questions about that one? Okay, the little shedder, the consciousness, resides in the heart. Now this is really beautiful. I love this explanation. Okay, our consciousness is in our heart. Think from your heart, right? Or the common sayings where, follow your heart. What does your heart tell you? Okay, this is our consciousness. The way that Chinese medicine views it and the way that it um, meshes with Western medicine is that during the day, the shen comes out of the heart and animates our brain for our consciousness. And at nighttime, what it needs to do is it needs to come back into the heart. People who have difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep have issues with their shen settling into the heart. The Shen um, relies on, it relies on blood. The Shen relies on blood. Remember the E is all about Qi, it means Qi. The Shen needs blood, and the heart is filled with blood all the time. It's pumping and moving it, but it has this blood there that's nourishing the Shen. preview for those who want to become students. The student formula in Chinese medicine is called Gui Pi Tang. Don't worry about writing it. But Gui Pi Tang totifies the pancreas chi and the heart blood. 
the reason that it's called the student formula, and it's so common, I guarantee you, 80 to 90 percent of students who go through Chinese medicine school at one point or another will have tried this formula. Is because we are using our consciousness and our intellect all the time. We're using it so much. When you went through nursing school, okay, when you go through any intensive training, anything, whether it's intensive or not, you're requiring this. But how much you use of it will deplete it more and more. So you have to nourish your pancreas chi in order to support your intellect. You have to nourish your heart blood in order to support your shen or your consciousness. Anybody here have issues sleeping? Okay. Uh, a short um, explanation of what you can do. It's called sleeping qigong, but you're not actually doing any movements. So when you're laying down, on your inha inhale through your nose, just relax. Try to relax everything. On your exhale, imagine all of your energy or your consciousness. Just take your consciousness and your awareness and exhale and go all the way down your body to your feet. Inhale and relax. Exhale, all your consciousness goes down to your feet. Okay. I'm doing the hand movements. You don't want to do that when you're, when you're trying to sleep. You're laying on your back. You don't want to be... <laughs> Sorry, it's just natural for me to do that. Um, can Abby come to help people who can't sleep? Oh, yes. Because my hand has that. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. It, it takes, you have to really help their constitution, and really acupuncture will help a lot, but a lot of the times you need herbal medicine, mm -hmm. and it takes a little while. But yes, it does. Yeah. So, why are we bringing our chi, our energy, or our awareness down to our feet? What are we trying to facilitate? Mm -hmm. Grounding is one way to say it. Perfect. But in terms of what I just explained, what are we doing? Another good one. That's equivalent to grounding. Very similar. What we're doing is we're getting our consciousness down back into our heart. Right? It's up in the brain. It's popping around. You're having all these thoughts but it's not coming back into the heart. Remember that our brain is an instrument. We have thoughts all the time. That's our brain just doing what it does. We have thoughts that we're like, oh, where the hell did that thought come from? Just because we have a thought doesn't mean we believe it or we want to do that or anything like that. It's our consciousness that chooses. It's our consciousness that we are. It's our observer, the observer who watches. The more we're in our observer state, the closer we are to who we really are. The more we're in our mind just thinking state, where anything comes, the less we get away from our true self. We need our Shen, we need our intellect, we need our brains functioning, right? and all of that's important. I'm just saying, this is like some basics of meditation is you are the observer, you are not your mind. The last one we have is the jer, which is our will, it's our willpower. This is associated with the kidneys. This is what gives us the resolve in order to move forward. It's our will. It's our will to live. It's our will to do things. It's our will to go to school for four years. It's our will to have children, whatever it is. It's our will to do what we want and or need to do. The great thing about the will, too, is not only does it look forward in time to what we need to do or what we need to do in this moment, but it will look backwards in time. It'll look at our past and develop the will of what we need to do in this moment. Yeah. How did you pronounce it? Uh, the jur. Jur, okay. Yeah. The po, 
like Edward, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, the E, like the uppercase E, the Hun, Hun, Shen, and Jer. These are the five spirits. <laughs>